Well, good morning and welcome to an episode of the marathon. My name's Mare and I haven't vlogged you. Oh, there it's just behind some Christmas lights, nothing to see. Just the white lights, don't judge me. Uh, I haven't vlogged since like last week. So here we are. It's Saturday, I've got coffee to go, a smoothie to go, and water. The trifecta. If you've been a marathoner for a long time, you'll remember that's what the desk <laughs> looked like in the Sun FM studio for me quite often. I'm wearing a new sweater dress that I got from Winners. And then tights and shoes. It looks really good without tights, but not appropriate to be working <laughs> without tights. But maybe for a date night. Definitely for date night. Anyway. Um, today, I am working, I am live on location at Country RV, because when you think RV, you think mare. <laughs> gonna go. They're having like a massive sale today, so just packing up some lunch and heading there. The cutest thing just happened, so Thomas very luckily is off with some respite today. And it's someone he hasn't seen since May. She was his VI at OSNS. And the love that those two have, she walked in and he was just like, what? Signed, all done to her, looked at me, signed, all done, took her hand and was like, get out of here, mom. It was the cutest thing ever. Um, and then we were chatting, you know, like trying to catch up briefly. And he just like, took her partner's hand and was like, get me out of here. You guys are fun. So they're going on a big drive today and gonna have a ton of fun. So that just warmed my little redhead heart. I will uh, be back when we're in the car because time is a ticket. Speaking of time, I haven't worn this. Taking a little break from the Fitbit today because I know we'll be getting many steps anyway. This beautiful Nixon watch that Farm gave me when I left SunFM. <laughs> It's a stunningly beautiful day today. I don't like to vlog with sunglasses on because it feels rude. Can I do this? We'll see. The sun is like right on the lake. It's so pretty today. The fall colors are just incredible. Uh, like I said, I'm driving to be live on location for the radio station at an RV store. They actually provided the RVs when I was an MC at Rock and River, so I'm excited to meet them and say thank you, and then also just really check out some incredible RVs. <laughs> so I'm sure some will cost more than my home. I mentioned that I hadn't vlogged last week, and it's been, you know, just kind of like catching up from being away, so I got back late Sunday night and then woke up incredibly sick on Monday. Like aches, chills, hot, cold, super sore throat. And it was the perfect timing. I didn't have anything to do that day except groceries because it was thanks Canadian Thanksgiving. So Thomas didn't have school. I didn't have to go into the radio station. So we basically spent the entire day on the couch. My mom came over and amazingly went and got some groceries for me with Thomas and while she did that I napped um, so then Tuesday I woke up and felt like almost a hundred percent it's amazing I swear by oil of oregano I had lots of honey and lemon and rest and liquids and I made the hot for food vegan chicken noodle soup and use thieves oil like the essential oil and like miracle it was amazing by Wednesday I was totally fine today like I feel great so amazing Thomas isn't sick also self high five um, and then you know Tuesday was a busy work day for me as was Wednesday this week I got a massage which I haven't had in a long time. Amazing. Just bless my life. 
haircut. I don't know if you can tell. Got a trim. Again, Karen, best haircut of my life. And got my nails done yesterday. So some self-care. I did a yoga class yesterday. One that is extra super gentle. The one where we don't even stand up. But today my body feels so good. And then there was a couple of, you know, rough moments as well. Wednesday was World Mental Health Day, which I didn't know. I don't keep track of these things. It wasn't until I woke up and watched uh, an Instagram live that Mel Robbins was doing with her son that I realized. And then I was just really propelled to film. Hopefully you've seen that video. Thank you for all the wonderful feedback I've gotten on that video. I was a little bit nervous because I got quite uh, passionate, if you will, or aggressive in it but the feedback was great and I believe it was a message that needed to be said I love when someone is tailgating you and there's someone in front of you like girl where do you do you think I'm driving slow on purpose there's someone in front of me I just I just never understand anywho um, and then Thursday was Jeremy's birthday and I had a I had this feeling leading up to it that it was gonna suck and it was really hard um, I ended up, I, did, I wasn't able to take Thomas to school. My mom came and took him to school for me. Um, and I wasn't able to go in and do my show for the radio. I just like, I there's no way in hell I'm gonna be entertaining today. So, had a bath at like 10 a.m. Um, and was just really kind to myself. And it ended up being fine. I actually made a nice dinner, which felt really good. And, um, yeah, went over to Amber Lee's house and just had a huge cry. And then she ended up coming over for dinner. So it was really nice. Um, but yeah, it was just really hard. And I allowed myself the grace for it to be difficult. Not necessarily wishing, like, oh, you should be here. Like, oh, we should be celebrating your birthday. Um, cause a lot of his birthdays were really difficult, but I was more grieving the loss of a marriage and a relationship that never was and that I didn't get to carry out and that, that aspect of it. So yeah. Um, but then I woke up yesterday feeling fine and that's what I find with grief. Seriously, you need to stop tailgating me. Lady, where do you think I'm going? Um, <laughs> that's what I find with grief, you know, I have the experience of going through this for the last 16 years since my dad died. Um, I find the days difficult, the birthdays, the anniversary of the death, that sort of thing. Um, I used to find Father's Day really difficult, I'm sure still now will, um, but I'm able to kind of have like, if you watch Gilmore Girls, you know how Luke has the dark day and he goes away and he's sad and then he comes back. Like, I find the same thing too. I have a day where I allow myself to feel the feels and I allow it to work through me and then the next day I feel better and I feel like, you know, that it's passed. Um, and that was definitely the case this week, so yeah. Yesterday was awesome. Like I said, got my nails done, did some yoga, had really great snuggles with T-Bone. We ordered pizza for dinner. It was lovely. And today, I'm not just vlogging because I'm going to be at the RV place. Because, <laughs> you know, I, there's not usually much to show you while I'm live on location. But I did want to include you in today because today is the Chamber of Commerce Awards. And I... I am nominated for two awards tonight, Newsmaker of the Year and Business Leader of the Year, and I thought it would be fun to bring you along, show you my outfits. Oh, I can tell you because this vlog won't go up until later, but um, we're doing a flash mob. <laughs> We've been practicing for like the last three weeks. Uh, we're doing a dance, a choreographed dance to surprise everyone before the dancing starts. Like once the awards are done, then we're doing this flash mob dance. And um, all right, okay, now you can pass me. I hope you feel like you're 
feeling good about yourself. Good God. <laughs> uh, some people. Um, yeah, so I really am hoping that someone will film the flash mob so you can see our dance. We're doing it too. Bang Bang by Ariana, Jesse J, and Nicki Minaj. It's so fun. It's been so much fun to do the rehearsals. It's so fun that I messaged the dance teacher last night and was like, can you just do this with no recital, no like dance performance, but can we just come and exercise and pretend we're Britney Spears backup dancers? Like, I think that would be so fun as a, a weekly exercise because wow, was I so much sweatier than I ever expected. And I would just bring Thomas and he would watch Mickey and it was awesome. So I'm really hoping that we can make it work. Um, I told him like, if you want to start a new class, I'll see if marathoners want to come. Like, I think it would just be so much fun. Anyway, so that has that's the day today, friend. That is a very long intro. That could have been the whole vlog. The whole vlog could have already been. But I'm feeling chatty today. I'm feeling really good. And wanted to update you on the week. And... I guess explain why I gave myself a little bit of space. Not that any of you ever ask for an explanation, which I truly ap appreciate. Hi friends, anyone else hate it when their sunglasses do this? Like I bought these beautiful, what are these? Michael Kors sunglasses, which I love. Then I take them off and I have the little things on my face. So, any suggestions? <laughs> okay, we're here, you can see. Live on location, boom, tent, there's a microphone, looks very official, it's a beautiful day. We're actually outside, which I wasn't expecting, so like, see all the RVs, but look at the sun, blue sky, it's stunning, I'm so thrilled that we're outside. So this is me, I'm FaceTiming the dance rehearsal for the flash mob while I'm on location. This is what's happening right now. If you can see them in there or not. <laughs> Commitment friends. Maddie's like, you are crazy. <laughs> Home from my remote. It was so nice to be outside. Oh, I feel like so much fresh air. So great. And the remote was fun and easy and great. And the drive was nice and pretty. And I just like sang the whole way. It was lovely. On the way there, I was listening to a book. I'm listening to Girl Logic by Eliza Schlesinger. She's that comedian that I think is hilarious. Just waiting for Thomas to get home, so I'm just watching the door. Um, and then I think I'm going to chill with him for a bit. I'm going to do some legs up the wall, which is a yoga move that I love to help my feet a bit. I might do some other yoga just to do some stretching. And then... Um, Get ready for the Chamber Awards. I was just practicing the dance <laughs> for the flash mob. And I'm feeling I'm feeling confident about it. And really at this point it's like, what are you gonna do, right? So gonna chill out and then start getting ready. Is that Thomas that just texted? I don't mean him, I mean his respite. Hold on. Nope. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um, so I'll check back with you in my outfit, maybe when I'm ready. Who knows? Oh, they're planting trees. I was like, what's happening? Okay, Thomas is home. BRB. Okay, it's Mare from the future editing Mare. I'm just sitting here, like, cozied up editing this video. And I was just about to set it to export and realize that the last clip maybe doesn't make any sense. It's the flash mob from the Chamber Awards. I didn't vlog at all. I just had such a fun night. We ended up dancing until 2 a.m. So I just thought I would tell you which one I am in case you are confused. I'm in the very far front corner in a jumpsuit. It's like navy and white striped. You'll see the red hair flying around. Um, it was really fun to do. So Here's our flash mob from the Chamber Awards. <laughs>